Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Special Agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent M, reporting for duty. Agent M, we have been sent here to The Hague to locate Joseph Leinsdorf, the inventor. Recently, the old man perfected a new type of machine gun. He offered it to the military authorities of his own country. But due to political pressure on certain individuals, the offer was rejected. Now, the general staff realizes the mistake and are anxious to contact him. He is reported to be here, and that may mean that secret agents are trying to get the machine gun plans. Locate him and bring him to me. Keep me informed. Agent M knew that the Continental Cafe was the spy center of Europe, the nerve center of the various espionage systems that reached into every country, from the Arctic Sea to the Mediterranean. That night, with Ivan, he dined there. After dinner, he watched the activities around him. Well, Ivan, what do you think of the Continental Cafe? Oh, it seems a little different from any other smart restaurant, M. These people are the sophisticates of the continent. Even the way they dress reflects their wealth. You're wrong, Yvonne. Most of these people are spies and agents. Do you see the three men at the table near the windows to your left? Yes, I've been watching them. The older man represents France. The other two are high officials of the English Secret Service. The man and woman near the door are freelance agents. Both have just returned from the Orient. The old man on our right, the one who looks like a music professor, he's one of the heads of a dreaded secret police of an aggressor state. These people are dangerous, Yvonne. I'm not sure I should have brought you here. From now on, they'll link you with me. But no one has noticed us. We were seen the minute we entered the room. I can't believe it. Yet somehow there's an air of tension hanging over this room. Oh, so you've noticed that. Yvonne, there are too many secret agents here tonight. Something is in the wind. A good many eyes watch the door every time anyone enters. Do you think we'll learn anything that will lead us to Joseph Leinsdorf? I don't know. If we're fortunate, we may. Yvonne... Lota Rowan has just entered. Mm, she's seen me too, Em. Yes. The last time you two faced each other, you put a bullet through her shoulder. She's not going to forget that. I'm sure I've seen the man who was with her. Uh, waiter. Yes, monsieur. Oh, here, take this. Oh, thank you, monsieur. I wonder if you can tell me the name of the gentleman who had just come in with the lady. Oh, but yes, monsieur. He's the great Tedesco. Oh, thank you. You know the name, Em? Yes. Tedesco heads a secret arms syndicate. Ivan, we're on the trail. It all ties up. The first time you met Lota Rowan, she was selling arms. Now she's here with Tedesco. Unless I'm mistaken, they lead us to Joseph Leinsdorf. They're here to get the secret of his new machine gun. (laughs) 
A few minutes later, M left Yvonne in the cafe and went out to arrange to have Tedesco and the spy Lota Roan followed. A minute later, Lota Roan also went outside. She talked quietly to a man who waited in the lobby. Mario, have Eric go outside and telephone Miss Yvonne Durell. When she comes out here to the telephone booth, chloroform her and take her to the lodge. I will take care of her. You keep her there. I'll come later. Don't let her get away. I will not. Don't worry. Mademoiselle Yvonne Durell? Yes. A telephone from the gentleman who is with you. Oh, thank you. Will you follow me, please? If you will go out that door, you will find the telephone on your left. Thank you again. Hello? 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 Ah! Hold her, Eric. I'll keep the chloroform over her nose. We'll get her to the car any moment. Now, now take her arm. We'll get her outside. Hold her up. A few minutes later, M returned. He learned of the fake telephone call from the waiter who was in the outer lounge looking for Yvonne, who had left her table without paying her check. Suspecting what had happened, he left the cafe without entering the dining room again. A moment later, he talked with K-7 by telephone. I left the cafe to get in touch with L-6. While I was away, Yvonne disappeared. I'm sure Lutheran is at the bottom of it, K-7. She's still here in the cafe. I'll come over immediately. If Lutheran attempts to leave, arrest her. Uh, wait, K-7. If you agree, I have another plan. Lutheran will expect to be followed when she leaves here. However, there are only three roads leading away from the cafe. Now, if we could station men a mile or two away from this point on each road... It will be done at once. I will join you there in a few moments. A half hour later, Lota Roan was amazed to see Agent M and K-7, whom she recognized, enter the cafe together as if nothing was wrong. She waited until they placed their orders, then quietly slipped out. An hour later, she faced Yvonne. The circumstances are different tonight, Miss Jarrell. The last time we faced each other, you shot me. You meant to kill me, but I was too quick for you. Your bullet went right through my shoulder, though. Do you see the scar? If I hadn't shot first, you would have killed me. You're going to pay for this scar. You see, I happen to like evening gowns. Because of your bullet wound, I can no longer wear them. Do you know what I'm going to do? Speak when I ask you a question. If you're wise, you'll let me go. And you'll also free Joseph Leinsdorf. Joseph? What do you know about Leinsdorf? I guess that you had something to do with his disappearance. Then you guessed wrong. Leinsdorf is dead. How do you know that? Oh, don't try to question me, Miss Jurel. I am not at your mercy. This time you are at mine. How do you know that Leinsdorf is dead? Well, if you want to know, I did see him. I stole his plans. I even have them here. Would you like to look at them? You killed him. Oh, no. No, I would have killed him if it had been necessary, but it was so much easier to just rob him. But for your information, it was Tedesco who killed Leinsdorf. And he killed him because the old man couldn't give him what he no longer possessed. You see, I stole the gun plans after I had arranged for Tedesco to buy them. Now, whoever gets the new gun will have to pay my price. If Agent M or K-7 doesn't arrest you first... Oh, they won't. I am leaving here in five minutes. Within one hour, I will cross the northern border. I've only delayed long enough to deal with you. I suppose you're planning to take me with you. Oh, no, no, Miss Durell. You guess again. Do you really want to know what I'm going to do? Or perhaps you have guessed. But if so, you are probably wrong. I am not going to kill you. That would be too easy. Instead, you are going to pay for this bullet scar in my shoulder. You too shall have a scar, Miss Durell, but one that everyone can see. 
Do you see this knife? If you use that... Once in Mexico, I saw the mark of a double cross on a man's face. It was so hideous, it fascinated me. You're going to wear that mark, Miss Jarell. Right here on your cheek. Drop that knife. Hey, Seven. Handcuff her, Agent M. This time, she's not going to get away. Now, wait, K-7. Are you hurt, Ivan? No, it's only a slight cut. Take care of her. I'll be all right. Turn around, Miss Ron. Put your hands behind you. You'll never convict me here in this country. I think we can, Miss Rowan. Hold her while I search her in. Yes? Here are the papers. I think you'll be interested in looking at these, K-7. What are they? The plans for Joseph Leinsdorf's new machine gun. Leinsdorf is dead. She didn't kill him, but these plans will implicate her in the murder. This time you've stepped into a trap loader, and I'm not going to let you escape. I, whom I have called Lota Rowan, was convicted. However, you will hear more of her, for she escaped the penalty she so richly deserved. Some have said that she possesses a charmed life. Whether she has or not, certainly she has changed the course of events in Europe more than any other living spy. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. <laughs> <laughs> 